now. I cut the tip of my finger today somehow and I don't know how. <coughs> how do I look, Dave, in the camera? Pretty good? You look darn pretty. Awesome. Darn pretty. Alright. Okay, how can I help? That's the last time you're going to see that for a lot of years. Dave. I hope so. Alright, I got this back. Okay. Right. No. Uh, there it goes. There's your pitless. There. Let me have a rope over right here. Okay. Down in the water. We're going to have water. <laughs> no, i got to put that bar in. Right. So I can hold this. <clears throat> okay. Well, when you get close to the here. Hold yeah. it. Okay. Those damn things are usually a lot of time. All right. Yeah, they're just hanging on the Okay. Alright. Do, do you think you can No, you're alright. Just leave her right there. Because I'm gonna turn this. Do you think you can point that down there with that? No? There, that's good. Nice. Spare. Hot leg. Brown. Okay. I think I got it figured out. <laughs> How am I looking, Dave? You, you know, you look like a star. We're getting close, Dave. We're going to be drinking water here in a few minutes, Steve. But I think we needed that bushing, didn't we? What bushing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did, but right? we don't have it. So, now what do I do, Dave? Deb, yes, tell me the truth. Do you think I'll ever amount to anything? <laughs> oh, Tim. Sweetheart. Hello, this baby. This is the neighbor dog. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. He's a good old boy. Uh, now, I'll tell you how I want to... I like to handle this. All right. And continuing on with uh, what's been going on here. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks. We've tried to stay busy between life, part-time jobs, um, the complexity of this project. It's been um, an interesting challenge to, to keep going and to keep recording what we're doing. So uh, basically what we've been working on the last week or so is a variety of things. We've been working on trim, 
Ruffin Electrical still. Um, I've been working on, well, we got the, uh, the, the plumber came in and hooked up the pump. So we've been working on that. Deb has been working on some little mini drywall projects, uh, drywalling in the, uh, the window wells for all the big skylights, or the, well, I should say the rectangular skylights. And, uh, and I've been trying to um, stay ahead of the game with uh, everything else. I had to get the kitchen cabinets uh, fully locked down and in place uh, because we had the countertop company come, um, and when were they here? Uh, uh, one day last week, and um, they did the template and measuring, and so uh, now we got to wait six weeks for that to arrive and be installed. I uh, met with the company that we're going to get our propane from. We came to an agreement on what size tank and where it will go. I have a contractor buddy who's going to come and uh, hopefully in the near future do the, um, the gas lines in the house, and he's got to stub out the pipe through the wall so that uh, when the uh, propane company delivers a tank, they can connect to it, purge the lines, test it, blah, blah, blah. It's all good. Um, so we need to get that done. Um, I have reserved and paid for a rental of a cellulose insulation blower. In two days, Deb and I are going to do that. Um, we're both, we have weird, crazy schedules right now. And um, so Wednesday is going to be the day we're going to do it because we both have the day off and um, the weather should be relatively cooperative. Um, and that's kind of an, uh, uh, important for us too. It can't be pouring rain because um, where I want to set the, uh, the unit up for blowing the insulation into the master bedroom ceiling is, um, is outside at the gable end of that, of that room. Um, that's got the easier access. It's got a 50-foot hose, so technically I could probably set it up inside, run the hose out the window or the door, and uh, and then um, you know whoever's up on the ladder or the scaffold should have more than enough hose to do it. We might do that too, just because it might be easier to do it all inside and have the hose run out. At any rate, so we hope to have that done. That'll actually be the last of the the main insulation. It's the, it's the two uh, roofs that are uh, roof trusses uh, and regular stick build. Um, there's no insulation in, in, those, in those ceilings yet. Um, and we are uh, very, very hopeful that once we get that insulation in and then we tape up the last little bits of uh, vapor barrier that we left open for access, um, that it'll keep the heat in a little bit better in here. We do not have the heater running, obviously, because we don't have propane yet, but um, we have been running a small uh, little uh, salamander type heater, and it's been keeping us warm enough. Um, if, it, if it's 40 some degrees here in the morning, we can get it up 10, 15 degrees in here. The problem is that the heat doesn't stay because it goes out through those roofs. We have, um, hopes that once that insulation is in, um, then um, things are gonna stay a lot warmer in here. At least that's the goal. Wiring, wiring, wiring. I've been uh, running a lot of uh, home runs back to the load center. I haven't connected too many. Uh, I've, got, uh, I've, <laughs> I've got the pump connected directly, so we just switch it on and off. I don't have the, the um, expansion tank and controls yet. That's coming. Um, and um, um, but I do have I have one outlet for temporary power, and uh, oh, I also put in a, uh, a whole house surge protector, um, just because I wanted to, and making sure that we're all safe. So we've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of running wire. Just wiring and plumbing. That's that's the vent stack for the for the vanity bathroom bathroom vanity. But you can see there's a lot of wiring. So I'm almost done with all the rough wiring. Almost done. There's um there's a lot of it over on this side of the house. That mess right there actually has to go through one of those pipes 
which will go all the way out to the garage. It runs all the way out through this, through this wall. It's kind of hidden back in there and then out into a very dark garage. I have no lights out here yet. Those are the pipes right there. I've got to cut them off and I've got to put some, uh, some bushings on it. And then I'm just going to run those out here and, and then connect it uh, up with uh, junction boxes. And it's the same thing with the kitchen. A lot of wiring is just rough at the moment, but I am running a lot of circuits. I mean, so the kitchen alone has a bunch of circuits. You have to have one circuit for the island, um, the required um, countertop outlets uh, along the main wall there. You have to have those every so many uh, feet apart. They can't be more than four feet apart, and they have to be on two different circuits. And then you have to have a separate circuit for the dishwasher, a separate circuit for the refrigerator, a separate circuit for the microwave, and for the range. So there's a lot of wiring coming down to this area. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a mess at the moment, but it'll all be neatened up very, very well. Deb's way easier keeping the workspace clean than me. She's much more organized than me. I'm, I'm okay if I don't drop a tool where I work and then lose it afterwards. I'm good if I just put the tools back in the general area where they belong. It's a bad habit. <laughs> 